Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video, a new what is, and this time I want to talk about Warhammer Underworlds, also known as Shade Spire. You will see in some places that it's called Shade Spire, uh, less known by Nightbolt. Uh, the names, uh, you see that there are these two names because in each, uh, this was launched one year ago more or less and was launched as the name Warhammer Underworld Shade Spire. And now in this second year of the game, they launched the core set with no additional rules and it's called Warhammer Underworld's Night Bolt. So what is this game about? Is This is more like a, a card game with board and miniatures from my point of view. And I think the miniatures are maybe the less important part of this game. Although they are very nice miniatures with a high standard of uh, sculpt. So the most important part is the deck. Uh, how you build the deck and the deck um, when you uh, play this game you will need to uh, organize two decks. Okay, one is going to be the objectives that you want to get during the game and the other one is going to be the upgrades and the actions that you want to add to your warband. Okay, uh, you will move these meters on the board to, uh, to achieve the objective. The objective will tell you more or less what type of actions you will like to do to achieve the points and the man that achieves more objective uh, are the winner so you have three rounds so the game is divided in three rounds and three rounds will you will be able to do four actions okay with these 12 actions in total on three rounds you should the one that is scoring more points more glory points and it depends on how many enemies you kill but not only that depends on how many missions or objectives you get from your deck this is the winner of of the game okay you can play this with one game or you can play the best of three games uh, as i said this is a, is a very is an objective based game as well uh, very important to build well your deck um, your objective deck with something that your warband can achieve and uh, of course you need to build the other deck with the grades and the different actions to uh, um, help your meters to achieve this objective and to build, uh, to build the meters on this uh, way. The game is designed for two to four players, okay, and the board size will depend on how many players. Uh, what you see here in the picture, this is the starter set, it comes with two boards, and for each warband you have to add an additional board. So the, in this picture you have uh, two boards that are coming in the basic game and yeah, if you play with uh, three warbands you have to add another board uh, that is half of the size of what you see in the picture and if you play four you have to add four boards okay uh, also it's important and it's part of the strategy how you place the boards because there are some different rules on how you can place these boards on the table and depending how you place them the the uh, yeah this is also detecting what are the strategies to follow um no, as I said, uh, the game duration is between 15 to 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes when you are starting. But it's quite a fast, dynamic game. Uh, it's very agile. Uh, rules are not very complex. I say the most complex rules is to understand your deck. And this is where you, uh, the experienced gamers, will have a, a advantage versus the new gamers. Because the most, the best you knew uh, your uh, your deck, the better you will take advantage of the synergies uh, uh, on, on the, during the game. Okay, uh, it seems it goes by season, so the first season was called Shade Spire, now we are on the second season, it's called Night Bolt, so it's similar to what we have seen sometimes on Magic the Gathering, where we have a different name for each season. Uh, entry point. So the entry point for this, uh, if you want just to play at home and with your friends, uh, you can start with a starter set or the core set that is 50 euros, and I'm talking this on 2018, uh, November 2018. So 50 euros, uh, it's quite uh, affordable. Uh, and then each warband uh, will cost you 20, uh, 22.5 euros. So you, if you have a friend that already have the the starter set uh, and you don't want to ban the starter set you can buy it as a warband a warband kit will bring enough cars and miniatures to play the game so you will you can play this uh, warband you will not have the board but if another person have the starter set uh, you can also uh, you they can borrow you one of the boards and 
the miniatures are very easy to assemble, they have a high quality of detail, but at the same time they are easy to assemble, you don't need glue to assemble them, uh, you only and you only need maybe a clippers to remove them from the sprue, but it's easy to go and they don't need painting, each warband will have a different color plastic, okay, so you can uh, distinguish the warbands very easily on the board even if they are not painted. I prefer to paint them, this is a part of the Hobbit, for me it's a, a, a nice addition that you can add, but it's not mandatory to play this game. And the only thing that you will need is uh, spend some time on your deck preparation. Uh, Let's go to the next point. So, what expansions or what extras you can have uh, for this game? So, as I said, there is uh, in total 10 Warbands now uh, in the market. This is November 2019. We expect to have uh, 2018, sorry. And uh, I'm expecting, we're expecting to have uh, four Warbands more uh, in the uh, next future. So, this means from now to July, the, most likely we will have four Warbands more on the market. So each warband is costing 22.5 euros. Each warband comes with the miniatures and with the decks for that miniatures. And there are more cards than you need for the deck. So uh, normally you will be able to personalize your deck. And yeah, this uh, as you can see in the picture there. This is what uh, this is the goblins warband, but any warband will go with that. Of course, uh, we have in total 12 warbands now in the market because they are the two that comes in the starter set. But at this moment, you cannot buy them individually. So if you want any of the starter warbands, you have to buy the starter set. Uh, of, you can also buy independently dice, dice, sleeves for the cars, a carry case like the one that you have seen, and a gaming mat. The gaming mat. Uh, not the best I have seen, I have to say, so for me uh, it's low priority to buy that, even in my last game I forgot to take my gaming mat, but uh, the sleeve uh, is a very interesting thing to protect your cars, and the dice, uh, if you don't have the starter set, are quite affordable and you also can get them. There are also expansion decks. So we have, uh, in Shade Spire we have leaders that cost 12 euros, and this expansion uh, deck for leaders. Not for me, not the best. And now in Nightbolt, you have Echoes of Glory that is uh, also 12 euro. No need to buy this uh, only if you have shades. So if you don't buy the warbands that are and the that are, were coming in the core set on the core rules of Shade Spire, uh, if you have them, it's good to have these because are the cards that you know they are launching on on these warbands. Okay, and then what I mean is. Uh, the Liberators and the Garrick, the blob, uh, Bone, uh, were launched in the starter kit of Shedspire. No, the Shedspire starter kit is not available anymore, but you can buy these Warbands uh, separately now. They are sold at 22.5 euros. So if you have these Warbands because you bought the, the Shedspire starter set, so what you can buy now is the Echoes of Glory and the card that goes in two Warbands, you can get it from the Echoes of Glory that I bought because I already had the Warband from the Shades Fire. Okay, and then and there is also a board that you can buy that is the Shades Fire, the Shattered City board pack. So it's a board that you can add. So in total we have five boards now, two from Shades Fire's core set rules and one that was coming on this city board pack and then and two that are coming now in Night Bolt. Each board is different, have different configurations and some uh, different rules on each board. What are the advantages? And here we see uh, some pictures. So this you see another configuration of the boards put in a different place. So for me, the, the first thing is that the game is fast. It can be played quite easily. Yesterday I met some friends and we in one evening we played uh, each of us three to four games. So quite easy. And then you can change players. So if you lose one game, you go to the next one and you try to take your revenge. The entry level is quite low compared to war games. Okay. Uh, and it, yeah, maybe you will not have all the advantage because you don't have all the cards. But if you want to start playing, it's quite a um, uh, low level entry between 22.5 euros if you go for a warband or 50 euros if you go for a, 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 a course a set rules. Uh, can be played on small tables, uh, on clubs, cafes, and shops. They started we were playing in a in a type of a cafe or restaurant where it's uh, specialized on board gaming. Uh, and have a very good support from 
from the Games Workshop, who is the the is the company that is making this game. So have a very good support. Uh, they also give a lot of support, as you can see, for <clears throat> tournaments, but not that all. You can go to a website. Uh, I will put the website link in the description below. You can go to the website and there you can find all the cards that are launched up to date. And you can create virtual decks there so you can also see what cards you will need. And yeah, I think it's a great tool. Uh, you can know uh, there, you can know all the cards. So you don't need to invest in having all the cards to know what are all the rules. You can find all the rules in this website. And the other thing, sorry, I moved by mistake. The other thing for me, it's good is that the cards are not random at this moment. Eh? Up to now, we have not random packs. We have no boosters. So when you buy a deck, uh, if you buy all the warbands, you have all the cards. So each deck or each warband you buy have a, a, a number of uh, cards that are the same for all. So you don't, they are not random in the packs. Uh, the uh, cons. Uh, that if you want all the cards, you have to buy all the warbands. And here we have a picture of all the warbands, so this is quite a big number. So I think this is the, the cons. Although the um, entry level is quite low, if you want really to go very competitive, uh, as we talk about 10 warbands, you have to invest about 200 euros, um, well, 250 euros on warband. So this is maybe the con that we can find that you have to really invest. It's not a big investment if you compare to Magic. I think you end up spending more money uh, if you compare uh, compared to playing Warhammer 40k. Uh, you can end up also spending more money than that. So it's not uh, super expensive, but it's something to take into account. Uh, if you are starting now, of course you are behind a lot of people that have been collecting this because normally they launch. A couple of warbands every three months, so you have to spend uh, 50 euros every three months. is not a big expense if you are dedicated to Shade Spire, right? Uh, of course, if you are starting now and, and most of the people have a lot of warbands uh, bought, uh, you will need uh, maybe some difficulties to catch up. But uh, again, these are not very expensive. And if you go to the website and you uh, build a deck, they will tell you in which kits these cards will come. Okay, and of course. Uh, the size is limited, so there is no way to expand on the collection. So you, once you have the four orbs, for example, these are all the orbs that you need. So there is no way to expand the, the different uh, armies. Uh, the expansion comes in the form of deck, not in the form of miniatures. Conclusion. So it's a fun and fast game. It is easy to carry with you to play with friends in a cafe, in a bar, in a restaurant in a club so it's very easy to take with you and it's quite fast so if you have uh, some time some uh, free time uh, it's easy to uh, just make a game and play the game uh, quite fast the game is fairly balanced between the warbands so so far with uh, i think that uh, the game have a very good balance between the different warbands and is very good for tournaments because the game is fast and the level is entry is quite affordable but it will need some additional investment if you are looking uh, to have all the cars uh, as well, have a very good support from Games Workshop, as I said. Uh, and we also see that uh, Games Workshop is really working a lot on keeping the game as balanced as possible. And I think they are doing a good job there. They just uh, restrict and ban some cards that were over powerful. So I expect to see more of this in future. Try to keep the, the, game, the game fairly balanced and avoid that. The, the, yeah. And uh, open different options to play the different ones. So that's all what I want to talk about Shade Spire or uh, you see I still use or Warhammer Underworlds what should be the, the official name uh, and yeah and that's all for now so please leave in the comments below what do you think about this game if you have played or not let me know if you're interested in this game and if you want to know more details don't hesitate in contacting me it's a game that I'm really enjoying I'm really taking very fun time with it and yeah and if you want more details i don't have any problem to talk with you and uh, help you on what you needed uh, as usual uh, give the comments below give a like if you have liked subscribe if you subscribe to this channel and yeah thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye